you might have always thought that virtual functions have to look up the view table every time they run, so they must be slower than regular functions, right? But the reality is, most virtual function calls are not determined at runtime at all. First, let's clarify a misunderstanding. The essence of a virtual function is indeed to find the view table through the virtual table pointer in the object, and then indirectly call the function pointer. But this is just a semantic model, not the final machine code generated by the compiler. Now here's the key point. In most real-world code, the compiler already knows exactly what type the object is at compile time. In some cases, the compiler will directly take a shortcut and think, I already know what type you are, so why look up the vtable? Thus, the virtual function call is directly replaced with a regular call instruction. No vtable lookup, no indirect jump, and even no risk of CPU branch misprediction. This crucial optimization has a professional name, devirtualization. And what's even more powerful is once a virtual function is devirtualized, it's no longer a virtual function. The compiler can then perform various additional optimizations on it. For example, inline expansion, which embeds the function code directly at the call site. Constant propagation, cross-function optimization, and even instruction reordering. Eventually, its performance is almost indistinguishable from that of a regular non-virtual function. You might ask then, when is a virtual function truly runtime polymorphism? The answer has only one condition. When the compiler cannot determine the dynamic type at compile time. Here are some typical scenarios. Firstly, a base class pointer or reference that may point to multiple different derived class objects. For example, a function parameter is a base class reference. Secondly, a function call crosses dynamic library boundaries and the compiler cannot see the complete type information. Thirdly, someone deliberately hides type information, for example, through complex templates or factory patterns. Only in these cases is it really necessary to go through the process of looking up the vtable via the virtual table pointer. Now, speaking of this, a key keyword naturally comes up, final. If you construct a class like this, you are clearly telling the compiler there can be no derived classes from this one. What's the result? All virtual functions in this class can be 100% devirtualized. This is the real reason why the final keyword exists. To sum up, virtual functions themselves are not the source of slowness. Type, uncertainty, is the real cause of performance loss.